Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make camera car with mechanum wheels. We will use two microcontroller modules, ESP32 CAM module and ESP32 module. ESP32 CAM module will send car control commands to ESP32 module over serial communication. We will capture images using camera present on the car and send these images to our mobile phone using web socket through Wi-Fi connection. We will use mechanum wheels so that car can be moved in any direction. We will also control the car with our own mobile app. So let's get started and make this car. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. For making this car, we will need 4 TT DC gear motors, 4 mechanum wheels. There are L type and R type mechanum wheels, so we will need 2 of each. Foam board plate for car chassis, you can use any material. ESP32 module. ESP32 CAM module L2988 and motor driver module We will need 2 pieces 7 to 12 volt DC battery In our case LiPo 3S battery Double sided tape Glue gun And few jumper wires First we need to upload the code inside ESP32 CAM module First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below Go to file Preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to Tools, then Boards Manager and search for ESP32 and install it. After that, we need to install the async TCP and async web server library. Download these libraries from the links provided in the description below. Once downloaded, go to Sketch, Include Library and then click on Add Zip File. Select the downloaded zip library file and click Add. Similarly, add async web server library as well. Now we need to set one parameter which is very important step so that video runs smoothly. Go inside your sketch folder, then libraries folder. Search for ESP async web server folder and then go inside src folder. Open async websocket.h file and change this ws max queued messages to one for our ESP32 board and save it. Now we need to include the ESP camera, async tcp library and async web server library. Then we have defined light pin as io4. We have set the PWM frequency resolution and channel for light. We have defined some settings related to camera. We need to set the SSID and password for our ESP32 Wi-Fi. We have created web server at port number 80. We will be using web socket for camera and car input control. Then we have created HTML page for our car control app and stored it in HTML homepage variable. This is main page which will be displayed on mobile. It has image section to display the video and also has all buttons to control the car. When any control button is pressed on mobile, it will send particular number to ESP32 using WebSocket. We have created WebSocket to display the images sent from the car. Then we have send car commands function which will send serial data to other ESP32 module for car control commands. We have handle root function which will send HTML page when we type IP address on mobile browser. We have on-car input WebSocket event callback function which will be called when ESP32 receives any command from mobile. If received control is move car or speed then we will send the data to ESP32 module using send car command function. If received control is light then we will set the flash. We have on-camera WebSocket event callback function which will be called when we get request for video stream. Once connected we will set the client ID. We have created setup camera function to init the camera. Then we have created send camera picture which will capture the image and send it to camera websocket client. We have created setup pin mode function to set the PWM channel for flashlight. It will also set the light pin as output. It will also send the stop car command. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. Then begin Wi-Fi using soft AP mode. Setup callback function on root and on not found. Then attach the websocket handler to web server. Now begin the Wi-Fi server. Also set up the camera. Inside loop function we just need to call cleanup client function to clean up old client connections. We will also capture and send the camera image. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. In our case we will use Arduino Uno for uploading the code. Check my previous video on ESP32 cam car for detailed explanation on how to upload the code using Arduino Uno. Let's assemble the car now. First let's solder wires to gear motors. Mount all 4 motors on car chassis using glue gun. 
Attach L298 and motor driver modules on car chassis using double sided tape. This is what the car looks like from the top view. As shown we have 4 motors as front right, back right, front left and back left motors. We will control 2 right side motors with right side L298 and motor driver module and 2 left side motors with left side motor driver module. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Connect gear motors to L298 and motor driver module. Right side motors will be connected to right side motor driver module. and left side motors will be connected to left side motor driver module. Fix ESP32 module on car chassis using double sided tape. Now connect right L298 and motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Now connect left side L298 and motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Attach DC battery power connectors to motor driver module to plus 12 volt pin and ground pin. We will take plus 5V from left side L298 and motor driver module and provide to ESP32 module through 5V and ground pin. Connect ESP32 CAM module to ESP32 module as per circuit diagram. Fix ESP32 CAM on car chassis using glue gun. Attach wheels to car now. Let's take a quick look at the ESP32 car code now. We have defined some constants for car movement. We have assigned the right and left motor pins. We have set the PWM frequency and resolution for speed. Then we have process car movement function which takes commands like up, down, left, right etc and move the car. We have created rotate motor function which takes motor number and direction as arguments. It will rotate motor in forward or backward direction. We have created setup pin mode function to set the PWM channels. It will also set the motor pins as output. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. We need to begin serial communication with ESP32 board using serial 1 object with pins as 4 and 15. Inside loop function we will receive serial data from ESP32 cam. Based on key we will move the car or change the speed. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Connect ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 rover module and port. Hit upload. Now connect battery to car. That's it. Let's see how it works. Let's open mobile app now. Go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to my Wi-Fi car SSID using password as 12345678. Open Google Chrome browser on mobile and type 192.168.4.1. It will open our car control app. That's it. Let's see how it works. You can control the car using these arrow buttons. You can also control the flashlight. You can adjust the car speed using the speed control.
we need to remember following points we need to set ws max queued messages to 1 otherwise the video will be very slow if video is not displayed on app then reconnect the wi-fi on mobile do not connect io 16 pin of esp32 cam it is used internally by psram if uploading of code fails then try after reconnecting usb cable to laptop hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching stay safe and please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel